I... Let's... Bro, there's Let's... something running right oh. there. We're hiding. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Can you please share with us how old you are? How old you are when you passed? Sick. That sounded like, like a little screech. I'm only six. Oh my goodbye. Okay. <sighs> what the f is going on? About. Oh. Holy sh. Ben, running, running. that's something literally running above us. Sounds like a like little footsteps, like a child. Let's get closer. I feel like I'm losing my mind. The longer I stay in this house, I just feel like the the more I'm losing my mind. We're back, guys. We're back. Standing behind me right now is the most haunted location we have ever visited. We came here about two weeks ago. And before we stepped foot into the home, we were told about experiences where people have been choked, pushed down the stairs, scratched, uh, sleep paralysis, and so much more. And we experienced all of that here and, and so much more. It was one of the most insane nights of our entire lives, not to mention the haunted cornfield that is back there that is said to be haunted by shadow men, shadow figures, and... We're back to face our fears, not only in the cornfield, but the house itself. The entire house and land is super haunted. Uh, the land in general uh, is haunted because so many bodies are still buried here to this day. Some that are known about, some that are not known about. And it is said that those are some of the spirits that haunt this home and the land around it. Uh, the room that I'm going to be sleeping in tonight, the green room, is the room where multiple people died in. They're saying about five or six people died in that room. Not to mention the basement where we were having doors slam on us and things moving around. It, it was crazy. So yeah, just get ready for a crazy video, guys. That's all I could say is just get ready. Uh, this is one of those locations that you have really wanted us to come back to and we told you we would if you guys smashed support and you did. So thank you very much. If you guys want more videos like this, simply just smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Help us get to 500,000 subscribers. And one last thing, for the entire month of December, we are going to be doing giveaways every single video. It is the holiday season and I want to give back to the community that's given me so much. In this video, we're going to be giving away three $100 Visa gift cards. If you want to participate in this, simply just comment hashtag holidays down in the comment section below. If you want your name to be entered two times in the giveaway simply just share it on any social media make sure to tag me that way i see it and that's it you ready ben yeah, i'm ready uh, i don't think i am <laughs> <laughs> i don't think i am uh well okay i had a double take because i thought i just saw something in the window oh dear god okay it's gonna be a long night it's gonna be a very very long night and what better way to start than splitting up Mean? I'll go in there first. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. All right. I'll take the entire house by myself first. Here, but All right. Camera. Wish me luck, bro. Good luck. <laughs> here we go. Whew. All right, guys, so we are here. We are back at Greystone Manor. Um, Jazz is in there doing his long challenge right now. I'm out here just... Uh, Waiting to do my alone challenge. Um, this place is insane. Uh, I really am hoping we're not going to go back to the uh, cornfield, but I have a feeling Jazz is going to want to go back to the cornfield. So you guys have that to look forward to. Skinwalkers around. Um, which is why I'm inside the house. Last time we were out there in the cornfield, I mean, it was one of the most horrifying experiences I've ever had in my life. Uh, it genuinely just felt like things were around us at all times. And you know what's freaky about that? There was one moment, I'll put it on screen right here, where something like ran in front of me and behind Ben. We were maybe five, six feet apart and something ran in between us. Ben? 
What? You didn't see that? <laughs> I didn't see what? Bro, something just like flew past us. What do you mean? Like right? something, like a black mist just flew right past us. Now, I don't know what the hell that was, but we heard it too. It genuinely felt like something just ran past. It was the weirdest feeling. And the whole time it felt like something was around us. So uh, actually, let me put my back down. So if there's anybody here that'd like to communicate with me, maybe even the spirit of Ben that we got in communication with last time, if you want to come forward and speak to me, I'd really appreciate it. If there's anything you want to warn us about, tell us about, share your story some more. You know, this is why I like coming back to locations because maybe the spirits are starting to, you know, warm up to us a little bit more and they'll share some more information with us. Just a thought, but such a, such a crazy location. Hello? I really hope you guys heard that because... Oh, that scared the shit. Scroll. Um, hello, kitty. So this is the room where Eric the cat was thrown off the couch right there. Literally launched like two feet off the couch. And then like some, like this white mist went into this room over here that they claim to be a portal. So I'm going to double check again because, man, I don't know. It, this is technically connected to the basement. So it makes sense that, you know, because they consider the basement to be a portal as well. But what the hell was that sound that I just heard in here? Was it you? Huh? Is that how big meese are? It's massive. Oh, it's a weird scent in here. Almost smells like... Ooh, eggs. Like eggs. Or like rotten eggs. Did you fart? It wasn't me. Anybody here with us? So skinwalkers around and scroll was the last thing I said. So maybe like Ben or somebody is warning me, the spirit of Ben, not my Ben, uh, warning me of, you know, this, these skinwalkers that may be in the area now. I mean, there's something going on here. I'll tell you that for sure. Outside, inside, everywhere. Um, so that way is towards the basement. Now I'm definitely gonna spend some time in there, but I, I wanna go upstairs first too because um there oh, that scared the shit out of me dude i looked in my viewfinder and i see abe lincoln it behind me it scared the living abe come on man oh what to say there yeah um upstairs we go the goal for this video was to attempt and stay 48 hours on this haunted property. Now, a couple minutes in and I'm already freaking out over a mannequin in the corner, but despite that, early predictions right now, do you guys think that Ben and I survived the full 48 hours? Let me know down in the comment section below. Benjamin. Okay. Um, maybe, okay, we, last time we were wondering because on the grave it says our beloved Ben, that's all it says on there. We don't know a last name, but I'm wondering if Benjamin was Ben's full name or is it talking about my Ben? And I hope he's okay because he's outside right now. Okay. All these photos on the wall. There's so many photos here. All over. Okay. So this room right here is the red room, and there's been experiences the in here. Rumors are true. <laughs> the rumors are true. Um, I was just about to talk about how uh, there have been reports of people who've stayed here who have had like choking experiences and. You know, people have even had sleep paralysis experiences here, which is really freaky. You could actually rent this place. You could come here and rent any of the rooms at any time, right? Even if you're not a paranormal investigator. So sometimes people come here and they know about the history, but they don't, you know, come here to investigate. But while they're here, they experience things like sleep paralysis, maybe even for the first time in their lives. Now, just imagine how horrifying that is. But yeah, last time we were here, 
Ben had this like choking sensation, like something was like gripping his throat. It was really, really tough for him to breathe. And, you know, we came there and eventually he was better. As soon as he left the room, he felt instantly better. So here's my experience in here. Hello? Anybody in here? Wow, dude, it is so cold in here. And let me tell you something. Fireplace is on, but it is ice cold in here. Whew. Okay. Uh, we even got a photo of this girl right here. Is there anybody in this room with me right now? Is the spirit or entity that was giving Ben a hard time here with me? No. Oh. That dress right there. Yo, okay, I don't know if you guys are seeing this. My screen is uh, getting really... Follow us behind you. What? Follow us behind you. How come when I look over here, it's super blurry? Um... Follow us behind you. Well, behind me is a mirror. Is there anybody that wants to show themselves behind me in any of these mirrors? This is freaky as all hell, man. But let me tell you guys something. It is cold in here, ice cold compared to anywhere else. Weird, really weird feeling like right here, like my, I don't know what you call it, like esophagus. <clears throat> well, I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that, that's kind of disgusting. We're friends. Mm-hmm, sure. Friends definitely do that to each other. Um, ooh. <coughs> the way this doll is staring at me is so creepy. I'm gonna, I feel like no matter where I go, it's kind of like eyeballing me. Can you please not do that? <laughs> oh. So last time we were here, I slept a little bit in here. Not much, but I took a little bit of a nap. And um, it, it was strange. I was hearing all types of sounds in here. This thing scared the living hell out of me last time. Please don't attack me. Uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is my room, or was my room last time. I don't think I'm gonna sleep in here again. I think I'm actually gonna sleep in the room across the hall. That is the, I call the murder room, because uh, or the death room, if you will. Uh, they say up like about, who? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, guys, I don't like this at all. I do not like this at all. I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. Okay. I'm officially freaked out. All right, I don't know if you guys heard that, but it sounds like Jazz is like throwing furniture up there or something. I don't know what that was, but there was like a loud thud up there um i really hope he's okay so now we're gonna go to the green room aka the room i'm uh sleeping in tonight we're gonna try to i'm really tired and i probably should take a nap 
sooner. Because the thing is, being vulnerable while you film is a really bad idea. Like, drunk, tired, etc., etc. When you're not like 100%, it's like a crack in your armor. And like, the entity spirits know that. So, <sighs> oh yeah, I remember these photos. Is that a Ouija board right there? Oh, it is. Ah, oh, that's creepy. Look at that right there. There's photos all over this place. I'm right behind you. Um, who's right behind me? What's your name? Uh, okay, well, that's freaky. There's like photos in like every nook and cranny here, but this wheelchair right here, this thing freaks me out. I'm not going to lie because yeah, it's probably just like a normal wheelchair, you know, but like the more I look at it, I just wonder if it was maybe used for other reasons. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have any idea. I've never seen anything like this, which is like when I do see something like this, I don't know. I'm a late nineties baby. All right. I was there when Game Boys came out. <laughs> Might have missed this one. Might have missed that one. So, yeah. Um, but I'm going to be sleeping here. So, whoever was behind me or whatever, uh, maybe we can share the bed. It's a pretty big bed. Get to know each other a little bit. I'm a cuddler. I'm proud to say it. Uh, let's go check out the doll room. So the last time we were here, when I went to the red room, it felt like I was being choked or something had happened. Uh, it definitely didn't feel good. Um, I do want to investigate the red room when I get in there, uh, kind of get an idea of what I was experiencing there. Maybe if it happens again, we can like solidify that that indeed was me being choked versus whatever it could have been. Um, but yeah, I really want to go in there and just kind of spend some time in there and see what happens. That was coming from the doll room? <sighs> okay, uh, here we go. I'll uh, close myself in here. And... Uh, Oh, that freak scared the shit out of me. Well, the door was definitely creaking. I know you guys heard that. I hope you guys heard that. <laughs> um, well, if there's anybody in here that'd like to communicate with me, uh, please use your energy. Manifest it into this device right here, or maybe give me some sort of sign to let me know. I know some of these do. Um, I'm not touching the thing. I, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm literally not touching the... Is it if I like shake it? No, it literally just did that. Cause it... oh, okay, I don't know. Evidence. <laughs> Evidence. I, yeah, probably. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Now that monkey right there, I heard that that can actually go off. I heard that someone else was here and it went off before. I, I'm not exactly sure, but a um, whole lot of things going on here. Um, that one up there, this one down here, so many actually, you know, it's like a whole bin full, and even more down there, and oh, there's so much going on here, um, photos and everything, so, <sighs> now I lay me down to sleep, I pray Greystone my soul to keep, if I should die before I wake, I pray pow, the clowns my soul to Um, okay. Well, that's uh, not creepy at all. <sighs> maybe I'll uh, fire up Necrophonic quick so I can maybe quick fire some, you know, questions and maybe get a, a couple more responses. So, give me one sec. It's gonna get a little loud. <sighs> oh, that one's the creepiest one of all. What are you doing over there, pal? <laughs> uh, are you the one who roping and touching this door? Uh, something in here was, that's for sure. 
Wait, 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 wait. Shh. I heard like walking. I don't know if you... Okay, maybe I'm just losing it. Is there anybody here in this room with me right now? What? Yes. Do you have a name? Ben, are you here with me? Yes, I am. <gasps> he said, yes, I am. Ben. Yes. Uh, ben, do you want to share some more information with me? Uh, how old are you? Did I say 10? I don't know. I said leave. Can you confirm if... Ben, I have a question. If, if you could help me out. Could you tell us maybe what's going on outside in the cornfield area? Is there something dangerous out there? Scary? Malevolent? Yes. Is there anything here that I should be worried about in this room? What the fuck? Okay, the... What? It literally sounded like something... There's literally no room for anything in there. That was weird. That was really weird. Who just did that on the door? Was that you, Ben? No. Then who was it? Can you, can you share me the name of who just hit the door? Dude, my heart's like beating out of my chest right now. Last time I was here, there was like tapping on the mirror out there. A little? A little what? Is there anything attached to this one right here? What was that? Can you confirm if there's anything attached to this one right here? <sighs> That's Chewbacca. Um. All right, well, thank you so much for communicating with me in this room. I am going to go down into the basement. So if there's anybody that'd like to follow me down there or maybe meet me down there, I'd really like to communicate more with you. Thank you for communicating with me. I still want to talk, I said. Okay, well, how about you come with me now? Leave, okay. <laughs> how about you come with me downstairs? Here we go. Guys, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little freaked out. Something's like, give me a really weird vibe. I'm not really sure what it is. I mean, it's a, probably a mixture of just like everything here, you know? I hope Ben's doing all right. Um, okay, so if I remember correctly, yep, basement is over there. So, um, let me go get a, another battery, because uh, we might be struggling a little bit, and then uh, let's head down there. Alright guys, so, about to go down into the basement. Made sure I got a fresh battery, because if you haven't watched part one, a little spoiler, we were down here doing a Ouija board session, there's a massive Ouija board table, and Angelo had his camera set up with a brand new battery, fresh battery, and it died within two, three minutes. It was insane. Died very quickly, didn't make any sense. Then his SD card started corrupting. It was just wild. So 
Whew. He also swore up and down that he saw like some sort of shadowy figure down the hallway and uh, we had a door close on us down there. It was just crazy. So just get ready. <laughs> um, it's going to be interesting. I kind of just assume. So here we go. I just heard like a thud. I don't know if you guys heard that. What the f Bro, please tell me you guys just heard that. So when I was talking to you guys, um, the beads are moving as if something, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. That could easily just be the humidifier, right? Maybe it was you, Eric, right? Let's see if that stops. Cause now I'm curious if that stops. Uh, here's the Ouija board we used last time. And this is where we were in communication with the spirit of Ben, the boy who passed away here. And um, yeah, pretty wild experience. Now I'm kind of just freaked out because I don't know if that moved because either that, Eric, or something else, but I can see right now that it is actually, it, it's stopping. So if anyone was there, any spirit that touched that, can you please do that again? Also, bro, on God. My, my sound isn't on for some reason. Now it is. Um, it said I'm a child. Oh my God, okay. Um, so yeah, yeah, look, look. It's almost at a complete stop right now. Wait, the cat, the cat just looked over there as if it just like noticed something. Eric, what did you see? Children. I said, Eric, what did you see? Children. Eric, for the love of God, if you know any English, it's your time now, bro. I won't tell anybody, I promise. What Was it a child? It's like completely stopped. Holy shit. Some of the responses that we got and the experience that we had with the, uh, with the uh, Ouija board, the table Ouija board was insane. Uh, I hope he's doing okay. If you, it felt like last time it's possible, you know, Jazz may have brought something back with him. Later, we're definitely going to have to come back together and do this one more time. Because last time we did, we got some insane responses. Spoke to the spirit of Ben and I, I don't know. It was freaky a little bit, but at the same time, it was cool. So, Eric, you keep looking down there, pal. Is, is everything all right? Little boy around you. Okay, maybe it's Ben. Yo, cause here's the thing. Little boy around you, we got in communication with Ben last time, like right here. We're gonna have to go visit the grave site or at least where they claim they think that Ben is buried outside. So we're gonna have to, it definitely seems like he wants to communicate with us. So let me go check over here because uh, Eric was looking over a couple times. I mean, I definitely heard some things and uh, Okay. Boo! <laughs> Did I scare you guys? Did I scare you guys? That scared the shit out of me last time, so maybe that scared you guys. I don't know. Probably not. I don't know. Uh, so last time I was in here, this door closed on me, and we actually got it on camera because we were recording with numerous cameras. Angela and Ben were back here. I went in first. Door closed and they got it on their camera. I got it on my camera. It was actually insane. My name is Frank. Okay, so we're not talking to Ben. We're talking to Frank. So a little boy around you, Frank. Okay. Um, hello? Frank, are you in here? Oh, man. It is so cold in here. It is ice cold in here. I do also see a lot of these. Um, Frank, if you could show me that you're here by maybe moving one of these. Really appreciate that. I'm not really good at the game of uh, pool. I play on my iPhone, you know, the, uh, may okay, maybe I am, <laughs> maybe I'm decent. I don't know, that, that was a pretty good shot. 
Uh, 18. 18. Frank, is that how old you are? Hmm. I suppose that could mean something. There's the mummy right there. A lot of uh, interesting props around here. So Victorian antique wicker cooling coffin was kept at the most prestigious homes to keep body contained and aerated until such time as a doctor could arrive to pronounce the person dead. The wicker would allow air circulation in case the person was not reliably dead. Oh shit! My, oh, oh, bro, my heart's like beating on my f chest right now. Not again. I literally was just talking about this. Uh, guys, the lights off. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, the lights are, I swear to you, the lights were on down here. Okay, I'm freaking the fuck out. Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh my god. All the lights are off. Eric, what the hell is going on, man? If, where's even the like light switch? Dude, oh, I hate this, these beads. Um, if, if I wasn't alone right now, I would literally use the Ouija board to figure out what the hell's going on because there's something, something's going on down here. I'm gonna grab Ben. Uh, ben also wants to do an alone challenge. Okay. Movement, yeah, I, a whole lot of it. Ben wants to do a alone challenge as well, but Ben, um, he mainly said that he just wants to go up to the red room and basically face, come face to face with whatever was like giving him that choking sensation last time. So I'm gonna let Ben handle that himself and then we'll come down here together because we have to figure out what is going on down here. Is it Ben? Is it the child of you know Ben? Or is it, is it something, something else? Um, but I'll tell you one thing for sure, I don't wanna spend any more time down here alone. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that people have some crazy experiences here. One of them being the feeling of being choked in some of the bedrooms inside of this house. Now, last time we were here, Ben had an experience where he was in the room called the Red Room, and it felt as if there was something around his throat, basically just choking him. Uh, there's no other way that he could really put it into words other than the feeling of being choked. I'm gonna put that on screen for you guys right here. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And uh, I'm gonna go check with uh, Jazz and see what he's doing. You all right? What the hell? You okay, bro? Yeah. You all right? What's wrong? You want water? Yeah. Okay. Before Ben did anything else inside of this house, he wanted to go to that room first and see if it was something personal or what's going on. I'm gonna grab a couple of these bad boys. Just in case I start having a coughing fit again. It's really good. I like these. All right. So, as you can tell by the my uh, candy selection, we are going back to the uh, the red room. I want to figure out what happened here with that. Make it my uh, goal today. This is very, very, very loud. These stairs. I forgot how loud these are. The thing I remember is hearing some weird shit in here, specifically coming from the cupboard. 
Am I already hearing it again? It is a weird, there's just something weird in here. Hold on. I don't know if there's a way I can show that. I didn't have time last time to really focus on this because I started to cough. So far I'm feeling okay. Okay, I don't know if you can hear this. It's like... be a um just trying to think of something more logical right like it could be a pipe possibly a pipe that goes down to like the basement and it's dripping we're hearing it maybe that's what that was from the door what the fuck hello You can just tell that Ben was severely uncomfortable inside of this room, and I mean, I don't blame him. I, I give him props for coming back and confronting what choked him last time, whatever entity did that. If I remember correctly, this doesn't open. It's like locked. Okay, I'm hearing shit outside the door. heard that but it sounded like something moved over here right when I opened the door. stay in here much longer. I'm already starting to feel weird. So that's it for our alone experiences here. But I will say we went down into the basement after this and what we both experienced was the craziest and scariest paranormal experience we've ever had in our entire lives. So just get ready. But before we get into that, there's one thing that I want to talk about that is very important and I feel that needs to be addressed. So we will be using the Ouija board, spirit board, whatever you want to call it. Now, I've been experimenting with a whole bunch of tools, if you will, you know, and a Ouija board is a tool. And in the last video, I went to the Pine Barrens, New Jersey, searching for this Jersey devil, you know, terrifying experience, right? And we did use a Ouija board that night. Now, we had a horrifying experience. It sounded like something came up out of the water. We both saw this figure, like it was coming up. It, horrifying now we didn't properly say goodbye on the ouija board we were so freaked out we kind of just ran now since then i've uploaded that video and the top comment of, on that video from helen shaw says you have no idea what you are messing with yasko you are in great danger playing with demonic entities is very dangerous you are opening yourself up to attachments possessions and nightmares the spirit board is not a toy or game you are 
opening doors to something you cannot close. And a lot of these responses are agreeing with that. And I even replied to it myself stating that, you know, I, I take accountability and I agree, you know, I'm not doing this properly. And maybe I took, I, I underestimated a whole lot of it. So I did a lot of research and going forward, you know, Ben and I want to properly do things, especially if we're going to mess with some of the darker ends of things. So thank you so much for your concerns. And I do want to say that if you have any opinions or any theories, any tips that you want to comment about Ouija board spear boards, let us know down below. Take that very, very much into consideration. And we really do appreciate it. I will say that when we did use this Ouija board, this spear board this night, what we experienced was absolutely horrifying. We, we thought we'd give this a try because the last time we came here, we had such a high success with it. However, this night, it, it was much darker and whatever we were communicating with was, once again, much darker. All right, guys, so uh, we're down here in the basement together now and um, we both had some interesting experiences. Ben wanted to confront the whatever was in the red room. And I thought it was right if I confronted it. I don't yeah. know if I wanted to. <laughs> it was like, Ben, 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 Ben. Don't move. Sure. Okay. I just got an itch on my leg right when I said that. It's a really bad time, yeah. I got something on my back right now. Ben, you hear that? Yeah, I do. It's like from beyond the curtains over there. Or the beads. Were, funny enough, uh, when I was down here, like right when I got down here, the beads were uh, moving a lot. Now they're completely still. Like they're not moving at all. So that's a little weird. It's like a, maybe like a trap? That's what I was thinking. Maybe the humidifier, maybe something, but I don't know. Even the cat was looking down there when I was hearing things. Really? Yeah. But. Oh, that's that's more of a, that's a scary sign. Yeah, very. I hear um, the cat see ghosts that I'm seeing too. That's kind of. Oh, no, dude, the door closed on me again. Last time we were here, it happened. Really? Yep, man. That, that scared the living shit out of me. Kind of let out a scream. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a very scary experience. And I figured we had some success with this Ouija board table last time, right? Yeah. Now, a lot of people who come here and film here, they, they do use this. And a lot of people claim like success with this. And, you know, we saw it firsthand. We spoke to Ben. So I think the first question I'm going to ask is if Ben is here with us again, the spirit of the child Ben, because maybe, you know, since we did come back within two weeks, maybe he's like, okay, you know, they're, they're showing up more often. Maybe it'll feel more comfortable speaking to us. Yeah, Just a thought. Yeah. I don't know. Um, kind of getting choked up right now. I don't know why. Oh, you know what's weird? My eyes started watering a second ago. I see you. You're kind of like teary-eyed. Bro, yeah. that was weird. <clears throat> Isn't this like the, that's more of a symptom of the red room, right? Yeah, the red room, yeah. But we're in the basement. No, there, there's a weird why sort is, of feeling. Why is that with the Red Room? What was the reason? Well, no, I know people claim that they're, they have some sort of like... Miracle. Maybe it's a miracle. I don't know. But a lot of people... Feel like a, a lot of people claim that, you know, sleep paralysis up there and a right. lot of things. But maybe we could ask. That's a question we could ask. We should ask. So, yeah. all right, let's give it a shot. So, let's open up the gate. You guys yell at us all the time to not take our fingers off. So, you know what? No matter what happens, we will not take our fingers off. We'll try. Um, okay, here we go. Let's open up the gate. If there's any spirit that would like to communicate with us, my name is Jazz Yasko. I'm Ben Benjamin. And uh, please use your energy, manifest it into this. We are using this tool right here. If you want to share any information with us at all. As soon as we do this, I'm hearing things. Eric, is that you? I'm hoping that's you, buddy. Eric. Kitty. Don't play now. Maybe we should ask. The... Well, first off, let's ask. Is Ben here with us right now? The spirit of Ben? Maybe not. If you could also use your energy manifested into this device on the table as well over here to... No. What did I ask? Oh, Ben's here. 
depends on here. Where's okay? Let's go back to the middle. I feel like he's talking to someone right now. Fight. Fight. Did Ben maybe get into Fuck an you. argument? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> um, did Ben maybe get into an argument with somebody? That's why he's not here. Think about it. It's possible. Was Ben a kid? Ben was a child. When I was down here, Spear was uh, saying "little boy" around you. It said "child." It was saying things regarding like this, you know. So maybe um, that was what 15, 20 minutes ago. So now I'm thinking did something happened in the span of 15, 20 minutes. Is there anybody here that like to communicate with us? Anybody at all? R A F. R A F. I know Rouse, rodents of, a, of unusual size, but not a... Wow, okay, that's strong. Um, so something is here with us? I think so. All right. What's a RAF? RAF. I mean, it's definitely... Since it's at R-A-F, it definitely stands for something. Yeah. Ow, my back. I'm so sorry. You're good, dude. This is really uncomfortable, not gonna lie. Do you want to ask a question? Um, so we're speaking to somebody, but it's not Ben. What's your name? Partner? Why is it going so slow? Uh. V? E? P A What the fuck is this spelling? I have no idea. R. Is that it? Hold on. Is that it? Put it back in the middle. Wait, what did it spell? V E P A R. Vepper? Is that like a type of a car or something? Like a four wheeler? Yeah, we're speaking to a four wheeler, man. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> V E P. I've never heard a name like that before, but it did just say R A. Oh shit. She's here. Who's here? Maybe Vepar's a female. Vepar. 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 French. Um, she's here. Okay. Um, I guess it's time to ask more questions. Um, Keep on hearing shit. Over yeah, it's this, really distracting. Dude, it's freaky. I'm not gonna lie. Something's down there for sure, 100%. Um, okay. And by the way, since uh, since we last called for the cat, the cat has walked by and gone upstairs. So it's not the cat. Oh, I didn't even notice the cat. No, yeah, Eric's already gone. He went upstairs. Oh, that's freaky then. Yeah. Okay, um, you have any other questions? You were the one who basically asked for a vepper. Um... Vepper, uh, do you want to tell us anything? What the fuck was that? Sounds like a, a, a voice or A voice, something. clear as day. Vepper, was that you? There's footsteps and everything. We're hearing like literally the. There's some behind us too. Whole nine yards right now. This is actually freaking. the door. We made a promise to each other we're not taking our fingers off, so that's. Well, we can say goodbye. We always say goodbye. We can always say um, goodbye. Before we do leave, Vepper, are you a. Are you a good spirit? A good entity? That was a lot faster than you spelled your name. Uh, the beads, bro. The beads are moving. Something just like moved on the floor as well. I don't know if you saw that. Don't antagonize. Okay. Um, what the f- Don't antagonize. Uh, we won't, but a question- What's going on? Wait, 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 wait. I asked if it's a good spear, said no, then I said don't antagonize. Okay. Oh, wait. Well, that wasn't our plan. That wasn't our plan at all. We were just hoping to communicate with somebody. Maybe we should say goodbye. Maybe try to get on its good side. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Plan. Well, tell her, tell her she's beautiful. You know, we're gonna die. Every time Jen's mad at me, 
This is a spirit or something. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Their name is Vesper. I mean, come on. Vapor. Vapor. What's going on behind me? I don't know. There's that massive door behind you. I know, that's why I hear all this. There are, uh, behind you, is that shed where like all the tools that they found like buried here. So something could be like attached, you know, personalized items to spears that did once live here. Murder weapon or uh, something. Ben? Jeez. Children around you. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Can oh, we yeah, see that's what we're hearing. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, okay, well, bro, we have some dark energy here. You're right, right okay. Wait, actually, Just... I don't know why I'm like, yeah, let's keep talking to it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You know? I don't know why you are. You're really into it right um, now. Um, I'm very into it. I'm sorry. Something like wants me to like keep playing. Um, wait, so it's not a good spirit. I can't even think of questions right now. It's because you're hearing a bunch of shit around you. That is true. Do you want to hurt us? I hope not. Yeah, I hope not. You can answer on either device. Yeah, if you can answer on the this device, this device, um, at any point. Vepper! Could you show yourself to us? Ben? 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 What? Ben? What? There's like something touching my arm right now. Bro, there's like something like literally. Oh, like, I can see it. I dude, can see your skin moving. Dude, I legit, there's something like touching my arm right now. Alright, uh, uh, can we please say goodbye? This is, this is weird. Dude, like my arm's like tense as hell I right now. Look it. at my arm. Hey, we're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, goodbye. Okay. Hey, we did it right. Through what? <laughs> <laughs> You're grabbing my friend, come on. Dude, that was so weird. I can see it was like... Dude, it was like tensing my arm. It, it literally just felt like something was like... Oh, your hand, you're really cold right I'm now. I'm freezing, yeah. Um, okay. Something's here with us. Now, I hope this kind of... That's ben? Something running. That's something literally running above us. Sounds like a, like little footsteps, like a child. Let's get closer. Bro, I'm fucking... Like, you ever get so scared you start like laughing? <laughs> I'm fucking terrified. Okay, why don't we just go? Okay, look. Alright. Ben, do we keep playing or Insist. do- Insist. Yeah, since you're so insistent. <laughs> yeah, why don't we just fucking play it, alright, Come on. No, Come we don't- on. we don't- we don't have to. We literally don't have to. I was just gonna ask- What do you got? I was gonna ask one last question, right? What? So we're speaking to this Vepper person, right? Yeah. Or- And the thing is, we know that this is a very historic home. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously hundreds of years of history. And we know that Ben passed here when he was a child. And um, when I was upstairs, I asked Ben how old he was and I got, I think, 10. So even though Ben passed here very, very long time ago, he still claims to be 10 because that's when he passed, right? So I was hoping that maybe we could ask this Vepper person, whoever we're speaking to, how old they are. And then based on how old they are, maybe we can dictate something. Like if they knew each other? Like either if they knew each other or where or, or when Vepper's from, because we could look into like the Heather said there's like the the history of this home, like the directories and stuff. Like we could look deeper into it, see if there's our people with the, that name and stuff. Seems like a bad idea. <laughs> but I'll do it. <laughs> it seems like a fucking awful idea. After everything that's happening, let's do it. Come on. All right. One question. And sure. we'll go. Okay. Here we go. Open back up the gate. Spirits, we are welcoming you back. You've helped me. By opening the gate? Earlier I was also excited. It was. It seems like... <laughs> I'm kind of worried about you right now, Jazz. Why? That you might be a little influenced or something by something here. I don't know. It's just the way you're acting. <laughs> Why? You keep on opening up portals and you're just like, we have to go back. We have to answer all these questions. I'm trying to go balls to the wall tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I know. It's a really bad idea. Um, I was just saying like... I talked about it earlier, but um, I didn't really sleep much last night. I went to bed at like 7.30 in the morning. That's the other thing I'm worried about. Yeah, and yeah. then um, I woke up at 11, uploaded the video, and then we drove, what, four hours here? Yeah. And I was, what the fuck is going on? Hmm. 
Oh, uh, died. Died? Yeah, it's Okay, died. uh, put it back, put it back. We didn't even ask anything. No, it literally just... You're right, you're right, this was a great idea. <laughs> okay, I, I'm down to say goodbye, or do you... you ask no, me? ask your question. Hurry. Okay, okay. Um, Vepper, if you are still here with us, can you please share with us how old you are? How old you are when you passed? But my question is, if it was never human, just hypothetically, right? Because we could be talking some sort of entity. If it was never human, you know... Six. Six. What was that sounded like, like a little screech. I'm only six. Oh my goodbye. Okay. okay, I fucking told you that was getting too weird. Wait, wait, six, six. I'm only six. Well, why did it no, put two? No, stop, stop. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to make the. <laughs> I bet you guys want to make that connection at, the house, at your house. You can, you can be my guest. That was way too fucking gonna, real. Just though. to be safe, I'm gonna put this even over here. Um, you're right. Bad idea. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Uh, so, uh, dude, I'm you heard that though, right? Yeah, I think we should check that out next. Uh, let's go. Can you grab the phone, Ben? Look how still the beads are, bro. When I tell you, even when I came down here, spent some time at the uh, table and everything, it was still moving. What was that? You heard that too? Uh-huh, like a thud. Okay. That might have been the craziest thing that I've ever experienced before. The timing on that was really fucking... Timing, coincidence, whatever you want to say. It's just weird. Shit pants worthy. I'm don't I don't feel good. After that. I got chills. I got chills, dude. Oh, it was just like an office room, I think. Oh, okay. After I said I'm only six, did I say anything else? Oh, you just ask, and you shall receive. Gone. Gone. Wait, maybe like who we were speaking to is now gone because we closed the gate. We said goodbye. I don't know if that works because I've heard from people that when you close the gate, you put it to goodbye, the spirit is like supposed to leave like no matter what. But then some people told me that the spirit also has to agree to leave because you can't just close the gate on them depending on how strong they are. If they're in, they're in. Yeah, that's what I've heard before too, that certain spirits want you to open it. But then I also have heard that it's just a game and at the end of the day, it's just a tool for yeah, ghost hunting. There's so many like, so it's like it. what do you guys think? Let us know, I guess. Uh, How strong is it? <laughs> educate us, I guess, right? Yeah. But what I do know is what we're experiencing, hearing, seeing is wild. So out of everything that we're hearing down here, like what could even it be? Like that the, that one shriek sound that we heard, it almost sounded like, almost like something was crying, but we know it wasn't a cat. There's no cat here. We're pushing almost one o'clock in the morning, so it's not, I don't know what else I could possibly be apart from Yeah, I heard that, and then I heard something from over here mm -hmm. um, at the same time, though. That was weird. Can you tell me who that was? Vepper, are you still here with us? Oh, my God, dude, I don't like this. Should we go check over here? I think so. Sorry, I just <laughs> like that thing. I yeah. like that a lot. This room is freezing. Okay, so what was? Billy. Billy, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dude. When I was down here, remember I told you that door closed on me? Yeah. I was right where that coffin was. I was reading like this note. Okay. And then the door behind me just shut. Person. Billy, person. Billy, okay. you here with us, pal? 
Your Billy's trying to let us know that he's a person. That makes two of us, Bill, sir. Like three of us. Scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god! The heating, <laughs> the heating turned on. <laughs> Thank god. Ooh, yeah. Oh, jeez, yeah, yeah. that scared me. Damn, too much. that scared the shit out of me. Okay, um. I didn't like that. Yo, I. Was it the cat? Is he the cat, or I just saw some really weird shit? Hold on. I just like to talk. What did you see? No. Wait, hold on one sec. Okay. What happened? It looked like the cat. Or yeah. something like a cat, like something small. This one. But Billy. there's nothing. Billy again. Billy again? Why? Who is Billy? So the cat. You thought you saw Shadow. a cat. Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a pretty good description of what I thought I saw. Yeah. Yo, wait, wait, wait. What if you saw the shadow of Billy? Do you think Billy like crawls on all fours like a? I uh, maybe I don't know. That's we gotta, we gotta, at some point we have to ask the homeowner if she knows about Billy. Okay. But yeah, this is wild. Tell me about it. Find my body. Um. Oh, wait, chills. dude, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Think about. Whoa, 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 what? Okay, it says, find my body he killed. Wait, wait, wait. Billy, Man, I'm a person. A lot of find people are still buried on this land to this day. Yes. A lot of people. Dude, yes. Billy, find my body he killed. Did Vepper maybe have a part in this? Remember, Vepper is not a good spirit, from what it told us. From what it told us, yeah. Freaking out right now. I'm super cold. One, two. I want a shot of something. That's like a portable jacket, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just keep drinking here. I'm gonna switch with you quick. Okay. Um, all right, so we got a couple of devices running right here. Spirit Talker and the Necrometer. Um, if there's anybody in this room with us that has any more information about either Billy Vepar, Vepar, or just anything in general, please come forward and share with us. We have considered that Vepar might be French. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, Vepar or Vepar. I'll have to look it up later, like, the, the origin of that name. Yeah. Because I, I've... Maybe it's not even a name, maybe it just means something, you know what I mean? Could be an acronym. Yeah. Mummy. What are the? I've never heard it say mummy in my life, and actually have a mummy. <laughs> right in the room. This is my home. Wait, 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 wait. Is maybe something attached to that? Could have. Okay. I think if you're a person and you're gonna attach, or you were a person, and you're gonna attach yourself to an object, wouldn't you? Something that looks kind of like a person. Makes sense. I that mean, it's just like an artifact, but maybe it means that like there's something in this area too. Could be. Um, can you make this move? Bro, is it me or is this actually moving? It's... It was completely still, now it's moving. actually moving. Yeah. Okay. Now that thing's kind of moving over there too. Uh, it's just weird right now. Like, really, I don't have a good feeling about something. Divide. what? Divide. I don't know. So this is my home. Divide. Robinson. Okay. Now those are moving over there. That could be from the heat, though. Oh, that's true. Um, okay, well... Thank you for communicating with us. Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, like, I'm on, like, a high right now of, like, energy. But I almost know that it's, like, uh, fake energy from, like, energy drinks and stuff like that. And I'm expecting a crash soon. So, realistically, I'm thinking about taking a little bit of a nap right now, Ben. Okay. Um... Take I'm a little tired. bit of a nap. For that. Yeah, because dude, maybe that's why I'm like acting the way I am in regards like wanting to do this, wanting to do that, because like I'm more careless at the moment, 
You know, I, I don't know if that's the reason because of whatever. I, I mean, I definitely want to get some sleep though. We definitely got some good content so far. I, I would say some of the cra that six six. Yeah, that was really fucking. That weird. was. Yeah. yeah, fucking weird. Elmer. Glue. All right, let's go to bed. Thank you for communicating with us. Um, see you in a little bit. That was absolutely horrifying. The entire basement experience from start to finish was just wild. And rewatching this footage, I can see myself kind of losing it. I, I, I don't know if you noticed as well, but I kind of was trying to continue doing things, even though Ben was like, Jazz, this is not a good idea. This is not a good idea. I just kept going for it. And, you know, sometimes, I don't know if it's because I was tired. I don't know if it was because, you know, we had a long drive, a lot going on. But regardless of the fact, we decided to take a little bit of a nap now and hopefully, you know, wake up at around 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning and then continue filming. And hopefully things would be better. But let's just say that our sleeping experience wasn't a good one. So yeah, guys, um, most activity tonight, or the craziest activity tonight, I think, has to be the basement. Um, I don't know how to describe what was happening there and how accurate everything was. The, the thing with the age, where it was like 6'6", six, six, and then I just... I'm getting chills just thinking about it right now. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I am tired, though. I know there's talks about us going back out into the cornfield at some point, but... That's cold. But I will do it if I have to. The, uh, let me think, the red room. I'm still hearing weird stuff up there. Can't really figure out what it is. It sounds like it's kind of coming through that one closet area. Right or, like, here? through the wall behind it. Hello? I did say earlier that maybe it's, like, a... Oh, dude. What's up? I heard you talking. I was in the kitchen. I heard you talking. I thought you... You were sleeping here? Yeah. Okay. Um, sorry. With everything that happened, I thought, you know, with, like, the whole Eric thing. Here. I got launched off the couch. You want to be the next one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Kind of like that squirrel launching video we were watching earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice blanket. Go to Bills, huh? Hey, you know what? Bills, Bills Mafia. Mafia. Yes, sir. Hey. I'm a Dolphins fan, so. Um, yeah, so what's going on? What's the topic? Um, Jeez, I actually forgot. No. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hold on, come to me. Here it comes. While I was over there in the kitchen, by the way, I was hearing things from the basement. Legit, like, sound like... That's one of the things, okay, the basement's, like, the most active part of the house tonight. Or at least we're in the weirdest shit. Well, I mean, we are also, like, opening gates down there, so that could be why. We gotta stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's like, we are doing everything right, I think. Even, even tonight, we did close the gate twice. Good. But, yeah, um, how long are you thinking of sleeping? Maybe, like, two, three hours? Get a little bit of sleep and then we'll go back outside and continue filming. Yeah. I definitely want to go back to the cornfield, like yeah. for sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, for sure. I do want to go visit uh, Ben's gravesite because that we have to do. One, when we were down there, we didn't get them. You know, last time we did, so I'm now wondering, like, did something maybe happen? Like, why isn't he coming through? He was so willing to speak to us last time. Right. And it was good last time. Everything was great. Why now all of a sudden, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm overthinking it, maybe, you know, but. Maybe there's like certain spirits here that like, first visit, they won't talk to you, but they see you a second time and they're like, hey. Yeah, yeah, um, maybe. Maybe a little awkward, shy. Yeah, I mean, very well could be. Um, I don't know. I'm going to sleep. I promised myself I'd give it a shot to sleep in the green room. Um, so people have reported like sleep paralysis and just about every single room, and you know, we even mentioned earlier, even people who aren't like paranormal investigators, just regular guests of the place experience it, which is pretty crazy. But the green room in general, because a lot of people have passed in there, passed literally in the space of where I'm going to sleep. 
Oh, wow. So want to give it a shot. Um, maybe it, it'll be wild. I know last time we all had some experiences while we were sleeping here, me, you, and Angelo. And Angelo slept in the green room last time. He was hearing, like, scratching on the walls. It was crazy. Like, that's freaky to me because what the hell would be... Scr- I don't... I can't imagine, like, a good spear or whatever just going at no. it, scratching a wall, you know, so... That's weird. Yeah. Um, well, all right, bro. Good night, man. Hey. Good luck. Uh, if you need Thank anything, you. I'll be... You know where the green room is, right? It's next to the... So you go up the stairs, the first room to the right. In the hallway, not not the red room. The red room is the first one to the right. Next to the dollar room? No, that's the bathroom. I'll find you. You'll find it's me. a green room? Yes. <laughs> I got you. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably leave the door semi-open so you can, you know. Have you seen the movie The Green Room? No. It's a banger. All right, I'll give it a shot. Good night. All right, do you want me to shut this light off right here? Yeah, can you shut it both off because I'm going to have, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay that dude there's so much taxidermy here i feel like they must have got it at like some crazy sale or something oh dude i'm looking at the screen right now if only you can see the taxidermy above you right now why no no nothing nothing oh yeah uh nothing nothing at all (laughs) good night bro good night see you later later looking at something there. guys I um I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted I'm tired but I really didn't want to tell Ben but I really wasn't feeling like myself down in the basement and you know normally I'm very understanding when it comes to things in regards to like you stopping not going too far and things but you know, looking back on it, I, I just wanted to keep doing the Ouija board and keep going and going and going, even though we were getting like one thing after another after another. And I don't know what's going on. Like, I just don't feel good. I think Ben's starting to notice it too, though, because he did say like, I'm acting different. And I don't know. Um, this place does something to you, I'm going to tell you. Now, we've still got a lot more to do. Um, we got tonight, maybe even tomorrow night, all depends on how things go. And I'm telling you right now, I just, right now I don't feel like there, like not all the way there, but you know, we'll see what happens when I wake up in an hour or two or three or four, whatever. Um, we'll go from there, I guess. It's one o'clock right now. One, let me see exactly what time it is. One forty-seven. So hopefully maybe sleep till 3.30 or 4 and then we'll continue. So if you've enjoyed the video so far, guys, smash the like button. I may be tired, but I'm still <laughs> still a YouTuber. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah. Really, though, I'm place is freaky, huh? Do you guys think you'd be able to survive here? <laughs> like do you guys think that you would be able to last here a full night like knowing the history here knowing like what goes on seeing what we experienced let me know i am gonna get all comfy wumpy this is a big ass bed by the way um so yeah whoever was here that said behind me earlier come on in got room for maybe two more you know two's a party Three's an orgy. I'm just kidding. Uh, good night, guys. Oh. Ah. It's been a wild night so far, man. I'm just... Honestly, I don't even know. I'm, like, trying to make jokes to kind of, like, ease the tension. Whatever. Good night. As a matter of fact, let me set an alarm. I'll do... I'll do 4 a.m. 4 a.m. sounds about right. Good night.
Um, definitely not dreaming. Guys, this is one of those things where you turn the thing. I swear to God that turned on. Like the room was bright. It just turned on. That happened. That happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't even... I'm just going to go back to bed. Because... Uh, What the f is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Okay, um, this is so weird. This is so weird. I feel like I'm losing my mind. The longer I stay in this house, I just feel like the, the more I'm losing my mind. I, I... I'm like shaking right now. Legit, like my arm is shaking. Maybe, maybe I, I, I'm just gonna try to get some sleep. Try to get some sleep. Um, try to get some sleep. I have no idea what I'm hearing right now. It sounds like some... I don't know where it's coming from. At first it sounded like it was coming from above me. I don't know if this place has an attic, probably. I, I don't know what's going on right now. Um, I'm gonna grab the camera. Uh. Something going on in here. This door is closed. This door is closed. I made sure to close this door. Hold on. I say 2.38. Is it the time right now? Hold on. 2.30. Guys, do you hear that tapping? Listen. Tapping coming from in here. What the hell is that? 
I know Ben was experiencing something like that last time. Um, ben slept in here last time too. <clears throat> Every time I come in here, I get like a little choked up. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep that closed now. That was definitely closed though. I'm almost positive. Um, let's go check out that. Um, I thought I heard something in here. Hello? Anybody in here? I definitely heard something in here. Okay, I think it's coming from that door. Hello? I don't know if you guys are hearing that. It sounds like doom, doom. Is this an Air Force jacket? I'm not really sure. Dude, I don't know if you guys are hearing this, like hearing what I'm hearing right now. Hold on, I'm gonna stay completely still for a sec. There's a chair right here. Listen, listen, listen. There's like... It, at first it sounded like it was above me and I don't know if there's an attic here. I genuinely don't know. Maybe I'll look from the outside when we go outside later. What did the time say on the clock? It was like 2.30 something. I set my alarm for four. I'm, I'm waking up at four, I don't give a shit. Um, I need my beauty sleep or else I get cranky. But right now, I just, there's like something in here. Um, I completely just remember the fact that the fucking lamp in my room was doing some weird shit. Dude, there's some weird stuff going on right now. Anybody in here? You show yourself? Is there anybody in this room with me right now? Anybody at all? Can you make some sort of sound, noise? Let me know that you're here. I don't know if I'm losing my mind, but I'm genuinely hearing things. Maybe I'll see when I'm editing this later. <sighs> I slept in here last time. And even though I slept in here, Maybe that's why it's like drawing me back. Dude, I just got chills out of nowhere. I don't know if you can see, I don't really have hair on my arm to begin with, but I'm getting like really bad chills right now. I don't out of nowhere. Hello, spirits? The spirit of Ben, are you here with me right now? Maybe in the doll room? I don't even know where I'm hearing any. Oh my God, that mannequin just scared the shit out of me. Why is this light on? There's like no sounds in here at all. It's all coming from down there, right? 
Nothing. Monkey? No? Awfully quiet. Oh my god. Oh my god. This thing again? Huh? Bro. Okay, dude, but for that to just randomly do that? I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm going, I'm going to bed. Listen, I got an hour and a half more. I need my beauty sleep, I'm gonna get it. The last thing I do. This place is gonna, this place is gonna f up. <laughs> I hope Ben is having a nice, comfortable sleep down there with Eric. I don't know if Eric's with him in the room, but that's the room where Eric got thrown off the couch. I don't know, maybe Ben's being thrown off the couch as we speak. Maybe he's two feet off the damn couch right now, floating in midair. I don't know. I hope not, but, you know, Ben's not as light as a cat, per se, but. But I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm going to f sleep. Good night, guys. Yo, why is this louder now? Oh my god. McClendon and Officer Long also in Polito at that scene of the house that was uh, fired at. Come on. the fuck
Jazz. Hmm. Hmm. Come here. I gotta show you something. Hmm? I need you to get up. What are you saying? I gotta show you something. Come on. Bring the camera. What time is it, man? Here we go. Is it time to film? I don't think so. Grab the camera. I mean, yes, it is time to film, but not that time. Okay. What's going on? You know the, uh, you know the room I'm staying in? What was that? You heard that? Like a male's voice, yeah. We're the only one okay. here. That's weird. Um, I'm crying. Uh, the closet opened. The one near the Like couch. the portal closet they go in? Yeah. Okay. I was like staring in it. Let's go downstairs and hear what that is. What is that? I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, dude, you weren't kidding. No. Anybody in there? So this opened, you said? Yeah. The TV kept on turning on and off. The TV? Yeah. The remotes. Yeah. Okay. What would make the... But there's like nothing in here. Oh, sh... The only thing I can think is if th there was a cat in there. Mm hmm But there wasn't. Just watched it open. There's like no room looked. in here either for like anything. No. Um... And she also said, I think the last time we were here, that the cats avoid it because they feel... You know, ever since the whole thing happened with uh, Eric. Yeah. That's really weird. Because I remember the door is like almost like this. I, I thought it was closed. Oh, really? I can't, I can't remember. It could have been like that. There's no... So, I'm going to double check. I don't... Use my flashlight on my phone. I don't think I saw, like, a vent in here or anything. No, there's no vent, bro. Not a single vent. There is a point of where the door opens. On its own. Do you see that? When you oh, opened is? it at the end, it kind of just finished opening. Okay. Okay, yeah. So at what point does it start doing that, though? How much does it require? So if it was closed or kind of closed, it doesn't open on its own? <clears throat> I really You heard that voice? When? Right now? Yes. I didn't hear anything. Where'd you hear? The, the voice we heard earlier. The staircase. Where'd you hear it? I, I think I heard it out in the living room area. Hello? Here, I'll go check it out. Hello? Think should I bring the camera or is it not even? Yeah, there? bring the camera. Okay. 
Dann? Ja. Well, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I have like a really bad feeling right now. I heard the clock do its thing. Yeah, you don't like that. So we heard something like. Hello? Is there something behind the door? One slide, it's one. Uh, there is a table back here. That's what it was, yeah. I'm just wondering, like, what we heard. It's 3.13 in the morning right now, it's like... feeling right now I don't really really bad feeling it's the uh, devil's hour as they say witching hour or whatever mm -hmm. oh, do I have such like a I'm so uncomfortable right now look I'm just freezing bro yeah I'm scared cold I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Let's run that again. I'm gonna... I don't know, bro. Maybe, maybe this is our cue to continue filming. Probably, it's 3 o'clock. This is around the time we went. Yeah. Was that you? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay. I'll say this is around the time, last time we went to the cornfield, so... <sighs> the last time we went... We weren't alone. Yeah. There was something there with us, something running around next to us. And You want to go out again? Hmm? Then you want to go out again? I want answers, is why. I mean, if, if you're not uncomfortable, I'll go by myself. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, man. All right, let me get my jacket. All right. But it still doesn't answer. What? Okay, now I thought I heard it myself. It's significantly colder here now. Like, all of a sudden, bro. I know. It is significantly colder. Let's get outside. Yeah. All right. All right, yeah, let's get our jackets and stuff. Let's and do it. I'll see you guys all night. Yeah. To continue sleeping here would be borderline impossible with all the things that we're both experiencing throughout the night. So we decided to dress up and head outside. And first we visited the graves because once again, there are many, many bodies that are buried here. And we also decided to revisit this horrifying cornfield where we had this shadow figure experience. They will harm you. <sighs> My God, we're just about to go into the cornfield. And honestly, it's kind of a bad omen already. If you look around how foggy it is, we first wanted to come and pay some respects uh, towards the gravesite of, you know, where they claim Ben is, right? The, the spirit of the little boy, unmarked grave. They put this statue there as well. And, you know, it's just crazy because last time we were here, Ben was warning us, remember? Yeah. Maybe that was Ben that just came through and told us they will harm you. Yeah. And... You know, maybe we shouldn't go into the cornfield. Maybe we shouldn't. But when in Rome, you know, this is true too. I, I kind of want to go one last time, get it over with, and just like never, maybe ever come back. Maybe. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, uh, we paid our respects off camera. We had a little bit of a conversation. Uh, we're not gonna, we're not gonna show that because. But if there's any, well, let's just say one last thing, uh, Ben. Or anybody. It happened here. What happened here? You don't... The death? Uh... <sighs> I 
What do we know about his death? Hmm? I'm trying to remember. What do we know about his death? Not much. Okay. Well, I guess that's possible. Then. We'll be back. This. So there's the graves over here. Yeah. Charles. Charles. The grave of a Charles, maybe? Well, now I'm curious if we do see one. Yo, honestly, this is so freaky, man. Like, with the fog and the rain and... Stone. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah, it was kind of like... Charles Stone, I mean... Oh, maybe. Oh. Now it's... Now we're getting somewhere. Charles Stone. Oh, hello, bunny. Oh, it's a rabbit. <sighs> yeah. Now, see, me, I don't usually film in cemeteries. For me, it's a personal thing. I know so many people think cemeteries are like the most haunted things in the world. Now, the thing about cemeteries are, believe it or not, it's usually quite the opposite because people are laid to rest there. There's a reason why when you go to, like, for example, abandoned hospitals, um, asylums, etc., etc., you, you come across a lot of spirits yeah. because sometimes that's where they're roaming. You know, they're not going to be roaming around where they are, you know, laid to rest. Yeah. To, in peace, for example. Um, and for me, it's like I always envision, for example, if I had a friend or family member buried, I wouldn't want someone above their gravesite with a bunch of equipment and stuff like that. So That's I fair. put it into perspective like that. It, please respect my decision. Um, I do want to say, though, um, there are still bodies buried on this property and around this property. And a lot that have been found and dug up and, you know, identified. And it's clear that, I mean, there's some, some sort of like energy here. I don't know if you sense it too. Definitely. You heard that, right? Yeah. Is anybody here with us right now? Ellis. Okay. Hello, Ellis. Like that name. That's a cool name. So I'm assuming, yep, there's one right there. Yeah. Does this say anything on top? Oh, no, it's so weathered. A lot of these are, yeah, like these yeah. are all them too. These are. Yeah, they all are. <laughs> it's just they're weathered to crap. Yeah, there's Sucks. no way you can even see it. Or broken in half or whatever. Yeah. Rest in peace. Shame. Look at this, like the whole stone structure right here, Ben. Yeah. This was like a barn, I believe. Yeah. Maybe. So there's the cornfield in the back. Um, now, we're going to set some ground rules before we go inside. No splitting up. Sure. Um, if things get bad, things get scary, we stay together by any means necessary. Right now, we're not going in there with the intent of going in super deep like we did last time. We walk like 15... I'm a man. I'm a man. So we're not talking to Billy. Or not talking to Ben, sorry. We're talking to a grown man. Okay. Maybe Alice. Alice. Alice, is there anything that you want to tell us about, warn us about, about this cornfield? Like, bro, this is massive. You guys don't get it, but this this land here, uh, we're talking acres and acres of cornfield. Like, we walked 20 minutes in last time to the point where we lost phone service. Yeah. And we were trying to call each other. It wasn't working. We're not doing that again. It was, it was scary, man. Like, I heard your voice from so many different directions. And there was one point where I heard your voice this way. I started walking towards it, and then I heard your voice behind me. I started walking towards it, and I heard your voice, like, to the left of me, and I was freaking out. Oh, yeah. Like. That sounds different in here. So they say that there's this like aura about this cornfield, right? Where you can't hear things from the inside when you're not in there and vice versa. So when you're in there, you can't hear outside noises. Now, I don't know if that's just like some tale that people talk about, but it felt like that with us because when we finally got out of the trail, do we were hearing birds, we were hearing this, we were hearing that, that we didn't hear in there. It was so weird. Maybe it was just paranoia. Maybe it was just, Weird feeling though. Oh, 
Oh yeah. It's one of those things where you would have to experience it for yourself. But I will say the shadow that we experienced, Ben, or that whatever that was, whatever the hell that was, I don't know. Here we go. Doctor? Is that what it said? Either doctor or gotcha. Doctor, doctor. Okay. So I'm a man doctor. Okay. I brought the rem. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Demonstrate? Oh. Doctor, demonstrate. Demonstrate. <laughs> I don't like that one. I don't like that one. All right, here we go. The difference it's wet this time a void i agree <laughs> yeah i said it before too i'm not a big fan of corn see that it's not the corn that's getting me oh no <laughs> no it's not the corn <laughs> okay it's what they could like be in the, the corn what they like the dark i said it's, it's what could be in the corn no i'm not gonna do that Good fuck time. you <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't, don't, don't. Please don't. Please don't. You um, said do it. Ben, I was... Um, all right. You like the dark. The light is off. We only have one right now. Frank. Again. Why did it come off so much? Frank, from earlier. Okay, yeah. Okay, Frank. I'm trying to remember what else Frank said to us when we were speaking to Frank. Um, here's what I'm going to do. Listen. Bro. That's wild. It just said, shh, listen. All right. Let's be quiet for a sec. Uh. What is that? Hello? <laughs> okay. Um. So something clearly made that go off because it's not now. Who was that that was me? Oh my God. Okay. It's really difficult to put into words how horrifying this cornfield was, the experiences we had in there, the noises we were hearing, and just the, the overall feeling you get being in there is one of the most unsettling and uncomfortable feelings you could ever have okay so a couple things ben uh, i want to talk about that was going off um like immediately right when we turned it on and it, it continuously did for a while then it stopped now obviously it's not moving now so maybe we can use this as another form of communication with the spirits asking them a question seeing if they'll turn it on for us maybe make it go to green right i've had some success with that in the past um now i will say earlier Actually, the first thing it mentioned to me when I started filming tonight, when I was alone, was that there were skinwalkers around. Now, I mean, last time we experienced things in here, people did comment that in the comment section. Oz that it was a skinwalker for uh, reasons of like uh, the, the, the voices and stuff like that, because it can manipulate. By legend, that's what they you know say. Now, we are near Buffalo, New York. Now, I don't know if you guys know a lot about this area. Well, obviously, all of the U.S. is basically native land. Now, in the Navajo culture, Navajo tribe, it was where they... Uh, what? Okay, in my peripheral, I swear to God, I just thought I saw something move back there. Like, can you come here? Okay, like down this trail. Torch. Torch. Um, That's a flashlight, a torch. Flashlight, yeah, torch means flashlight. Can you show yourself? If I keep moving my flashlight up and down, can you show yourself? I feel like Pleased I'm... to meet you. 
Uh, likewise. Likewise. What was it that I saw over there? Notice how it's so much more quieter here the last time. Last time we were here, we were hearing things move around us. Yeah. All sorts of things. So let's head down this trail for a little bit. Check it out. Sure. Is there something that we should be worried about here? Something that you want to warn us about before we go in deeper? Listen, there's something moving down there. Listen how quiet it is here. And then we hear something down there. This is literally like my biggest fear in really? a cornfield, three, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, this is absolutely horrifying. And then knowing you're not like potentially the only one here. Also, haven't you noticed like on this one trail? I can use this. Okay. I was say, on this one trail, there's a lot of corn knocked over. Look down the entire trail. Isn't that kind of weird? That was weird. Could have been us last time. We did run through this place. We ran through like a whole bunch of this, yeah. Yeah. But we were deep in too. We were. Like, we kept just going and going and going. I forgot where we popped out though. I'll tell you, I, I was never we'll happier. We might, I bet if we follow, follow this, we find our maybe, last spot. Maybe, maybe. Ah, fuck. Uh, hello? Yeah, there's more broken in there. Yeah. We ran from that, maybe. Well, I mean, hey, I, I'll tell you, I mean, even like some of these are broken up here. Oh, so yeah, what, would broke, what would break those? I mean, maybe the, the wind, I guess. all shadow figures that people see in here, maybe? That's just a theory. No, I'm kidding. It's probably wind. <laughs> probably wind. Um, if there's somebody in this cornfield with us, can you give us some sort of sign? Let us know that you are here. Ooh, what the fuck? Okay, there's our sign. There's what our was that, bro? Something's like moving back there. Okay. Thank you. If it's not something spiritual, what, what are we thinking? Um, haven't heard a coyote yet. You're right. We did we last did, time, though. We did hear him last time, like, all throughout the night. Now, we're, I haven't heard a single one. Um, we can rule out bears by hibernating. She's coming. Mm. What was the name on the Ouija board again? Vepar? V v Remember when we yeah. got a Vepar, the first thing it said was, she's here? Yeah. Vepar, are you here with us right now? I completely forgot to look that up, by the way. Hold on. Since we're here. One in Rome. Yeah. Um. What year is it? 2023. Okay, so what was it? V-E-P-A-R. Yeah. Vepar. Yo, what's going on? Uh, we might have fucked up big time, bro. Vepper is a strong great duke of hell. Rules 29 legions of demons. Okay. Bro, we might have fucked up big time. That's how it was spelled on the Ouija board. V-E-P-A-R? Yeah. That's... Literally the first thing we didn't invite that pops it or up. something though. I mean, we didn't. Vepar, the demonic paradise wiki. I, we, I don't. It's the same thing with anything, bro. Like a spirit can claim imitating. to be Vepar, yeah. but it doesn't mean it's really Vepar. Yeah, or it whatever. could be imitating it, right? It could be yeah. whatever. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I mean, we can't freak out yet too much. Right. I... Thanks for scaring the fuck out of me with that. <laughs> Who is out here acting as if. They are Vepar. <laughs> Me. Okay. Uh, okay, let's do. Just... 
I'm actually kind of freaked out because I don't know like what to ask or say right now. Do you want to hurt us? As long as I said no. That's good. Promise? As well. Walk back. That I can agree with. Ben, I don't know what's going on, bro. I don't feel like myself right now. Yeah? Did they say Ben? Are you talking about my Ben? Or Ben? Or Ben that is buried to rest here? I hated my life. Could be. Leave. You heard that, right? Yeah, I did. Let's, let's uh, find a way out of here. It just said the other Ben. But I still don't understand. Maybe it's not talking about us then. Wait, what about Ben? Is Ben okay? Like me, Ben? Hello? Hold on. Can we go, bro? Ben, something's coming towards me. Yeah, let's go. Exit's this way. Rampart's there. Okay, I hear it now. Let's go. I'm going to make sure you get out of here. Yeah, 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 for sure. Here, I'll put this down. i grab my... I grab the rod pod. I got it, I got it. But dude, no, like, what's bothering me right now is not knowing what's going on with Ben. Bro, last time we were here, we spoke to him so clearly, vividly, and now, like... He's dead, though. Yeah, I get that, bro. I get that. But... He's dead, though. Come on. I... Let's go. Bro, there's Let's something go. running right there. We're hiding. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, shit! Go, 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 go. You heard that? Yes, bro, go. What's wrong with this kid? Brother, what are you doing? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Jess, we gotta go. Unfortunately, guys, we did not last a full 48 hours at this haunted location. And honestly, I'm kind of glad that we didn't keep pushing it because things were going downhill pretty quick. And rewatching the footage, there was definitely something influencing my decisions. I wasn't making any good ones at that. We were hearing things around us. It almost sounded as if something was running towards us. And then we heard some sort of shriek coming from deep within the cornfield. Now, we both got out of here and Ben was speed walking away and he thought I was right behind him but when he turned around I was almost at the entrance of the cornfield. I was just standing there. I almost was like inching towards the entrance of the cornfield again. I, I don't know what was wrong with me that night and it wasn't just there. I was making bad decisions in the basement of the house and honestly Ben was worried that I was going to continue making bad decisions if we stayed there. So we made a joint decision. I mean more so Ben but... We made the decision to leave and get out of there, and I think it was the right decision. But unfortunately, we we didn't survive the 48 hours, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it was a crazy one. The footage that we did capture this night, though, was horrifying. And 
you know, th this location was definitely one for the record books. I'd say this is one of the scariest locations we've ever visited. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And we'll see you guys in the next Paranormal Investigation. Peace.